All right, guys, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of my um, air pump that I keep in the back of my car. Uh, so this is kind of the setup I have all the time in the back of my vehicle. I have my dog's bed back here and then um, a Plano container that's strapped down and that holds pretty much all of my recovery stuff I need. So right on top, I have my Via Air pump. I think it's the 88P. Yep, the Via Air 88P. And this is probably like the bare minimum that you can have for the Forerunner tires. I believe I have 33s on here. Um, so it's a little slow, it gets a little hot when filling it up, but I don't air down much, so it's only going from like 20 to uh, 36, 37 or so. So it takes a, a minute or a couple minutes for each tire. Um, and but it does get really hot. This part here uh, gets very hot. So if you are using it um, in the summer or here in Arizona, when you pick it up, make sure you use the handle and don't touch this area here, as well as maybe let it cool down a little bit before you put it back in the bag so you don't want it to melt any of the fabrics here. Um, one modification I made was I took the alligator clamp that comes with it normally as a positive negative alligator clamp. I cut that off and then I wired it to a seven pin connector so I can just plug it in um, right under the vehicle here and I'll show you that in a second. But I really didn't like having to open my hood every time, especially when it's windy and dusty and people are driving around. Um, I didn't like to have my hood open as well as if your hood is open, you can't see your tire pressure monitor on your uh, dash. Um, obviously use an external gauge, but it is still nice to see your full dash, um, but you need all your doors closed to do so. So I normally just take the pump out, I close the trunk because my dog's normally in here, and then I'll just plug it in under the vehicle and go ahead and um, air up all the tires. So like I said, this is the seven pin connector I got. Um, I believe I just got it at like O'Reilly's or AutoZone or something. Um, no, actually it was Home Depot had it for 12 bucks. Um, all you have to do is just unscrew this little set screw. This front cap pops off and then you just feed your wires through. And then you look at the diagram on the packaging. I'll post a picture um, right here on screen so you can see it. And all you're looking for is the ground prong and the 12 volt um, constant prong. And those are the two I um, wired my positive and negative to. And so that's all you need and then I wrap the cable in some electrical tape so you can um, tighten it down here so it doesn't actually um, pull on the terminals up here. So I'm gonna bring it down below. I'll plug it in for you guys, see how that process goes, and then I'll show you how much more space you have having it plugged into the back rather than um, plugged in from the hood. So let's go do that now. So from the back, the trailer plug is right here. And it's a spare tire. So you simply unwrap the cable, reach down, and insert your prongs just like that. So now everything else, you can close all the doors on your vehicle and just use this one access point. So the vehicle does have to be on and running for this to work. That's one downside of this option versus directly to the battery terminal. Um, but then you don't have any risk of uh, draining your battery too far and not being able to start your car. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can reach around um, all the way to the front very easily with this setup here. So since the cable is not having to come down from the hood, you don't lose all that extra length. So just with the power cable, you can get directly to the middle of your vehicle. And then the hose that comes with it is plenty long. easily do your front and back tires here and then it wraps around the other side very easy as well. Just the power cable will get your pump all the way up to the front door 
Um, so I think this is a lot better option, especially if you have a trailer maybe too, you'll be able to reach to the back of your trailer as well uh, with your air pump rather than needing it up to the front of the vehicle. So that's it, it's all packed up back in its bag. Bag is a little tight squeeze. If you want a bigger bag, that'd probably be recommended. Something that's more uh, heat proof and doesn't melt on the inside um, if you do put the hot pump in it. Um, but other than that, yeah, like I said, the only downside to that modification I made using the trailer um, hookup is that other vehicles that don't have trailer hookups won't be able to just grab and go and use this pump. Um, because it no longer has the battery terminals. Down the road, it would be cool to actually wire it to pigtails or like a connector. Then you can swap between the seven pin connector or the battery terminals, and that would make it the most universal to use for any vehicle. Um, but for now, I just like the seven pin connector it works for me. Um, and if I do upgrade to a bigger pump, uh, maybe we'll go a different route down the road. Um, but yeah, that's it. Nice and small, it packs away in my vehicle nice. It works for what I needed to work for. So uh, if you found this video helpful or this information helpful, um, you can go ahead and use the links down below to help support the channel. Other than that, uh, enjoy the rest of your day and get back out there and explore.